part of the video that if you're not subscribed already I'm gonna ask you to do that right now click that notification bell to all why don't you leave a like and a comment once you're done watching all of this helps support this channel I post twice a day 9 45 a.m. and 9 45 p.m. for the extended Eastern time I have a patreon link I have also affiliate links to all the cards below and a one-time donation link Right now, if you join my personal website, which is free, you get a free video not available anywhere from me as a thank you. This website will be the key to any free or paid readings and giveaways I may do in the future. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to let you get back to your reading now. Hello Take beautiful care. Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. I'm going to be doing the readings for uh, the week of the blah, 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 the 20th to the 26th. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to be pulling cards. Of course, last week I did the oracles. I think that went well. So I'm going to be doing that again, but I'm going to pick a different oracle deck. I'm going to pick the numerology uh, guidance cards to pick the six cards for the week. And uh, we're going to see what that has to say, Pisces. Yeah, where that's going to guide us. So, um, first we pick the week. Okay, so um, when I looked at what we were looking at for the week, it said, um, Surrendering to the journey and you are light. And the other cards that came in were, you had the Five of Wands first, but I feel that it's, you're now feeling comfortable solving the problems that you have. You're handling it with like the Two of Cups, um, you're handling it with the Queen of Cups and also the Eight of Wands. So your Harmony Sensors is what I'm kind of getting here is helping you, is going to be helping you throughout this week. Uh, I feel that you're feeling more like yourself. Um, if you haven't seen the Father's Day reading that I did this morning, go ahead and watch that. That's for all uh, Father Day, uh, Father the male energy, um, who are practicing parents, uh, practicing at being parents in our times, which is nothing short of miraculous, I find. Uh, it was a beautiful reading that came out for you with a special message from uh, your moms. So um, I would go watch that. Um, all right, so let's see what the three cards that come out to describe this beautiful upcoming week. Okay, so all right, these are the problems I was seeing, like the 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 five of wands. But I feel like these are like solutions. Yeah, you're feeling stable in this new energy. That's what I'm feeling. You're getting stability. You're rising to the challenge. Actually, they go like this. They're rising to the challenge. You are rising to, you know, this is not tripping you up. These are, are the two of swords is delays, but they're not like big delays. They're like momentary delays, okay? Little standstills that come around. So I feel that the energy of you is that you're going to be practicing a lot. This is maybe that's a better word. You're going to be practicing using the energies that you have that you feel comfortable with now to do problem solving to really make you feel stable. That it's I'm almost feeling that these problems are not going to be a problem for you. It's not going to cause you the amount of instability that you felt like before. It's more like, oh, this again. Oh, I know what to do. I know this energy. I'm going to take some of my energy. I'm going to do this and that. Poof, look, stability restored. Or even in the instability, you feel stability. I feel that this is no longer like a problem. You're feeling comfortable in your problem, problem solving energy abilities. Okay, so that's, that's, that's what it is. Comfortable in your problem solving. I'm going to write this. I'm going to write this down. Comfortable in problem solving energies because that is what you're feeling oh and my phone decided to go nuts <clears throat> i do apologize i had a a meeting this morning so i had to um to take it and i did not shut off my phone after so yeah you guys are are going through the motions do not disturb 
Jane is busy with her Pisces. Leave her alone. Okay, so let's see Pisces. Let's see what the beautiful numerology cards can uh, bring forward for the upcoming week. That's the first time I tried this, so mm, we'll see. Okay, so first day of work. Rebirth. Well, nothing, nothing too big, right? You know, just a a, a tiny little thing. <laughs> All right. So the blue, your voice, finding your true voice, Pisces. Okay. So there will be a rebirth in the security, the red of the chakra, the root chakra, and I think there's a rebirth in finding your voice and finding your place. Okay, your security and your place. That makes total sense. Okay, for. Uh, the work that is going to bring. The second day is spiritual guidance. Manifestation. Eight. Okay. I did see the Eight of Wands. Oh, it was in the reading itself for the Eight of Wands at the end. So, absolutely. So, you're going to turn that into um, a tool to manifest things. So, that's going to be your spiritual guidance for this. It's going to help you turn things into something. Okay. Anything into something. That's pretty good. I like that. You have the pink. I uh, love that. It's like, again, the security and the pink is giving me hope. It's, it's, it's making me feel really good. It's going from like, I get the root to the, to the, the sacral chakra. It's almost like it's, it's lightening up the heart. Okay. All right. And there's it's into the sacral, I was going to say, and there it is. Okay. So the block is patience. Yeah. Um, once you get the lesson and you understand it, you know, it's like, oh, I get it. Now you want things to move. You want the eight of wands. You want it to go. Go, go, go. Okay. And there's the two with the two here. So the block might be this week that it's not moving fast enough now that you have it. Now that the eureka moment has happened, you're going like, eh, it's not moving enough. You know, I wish it would move faster. Okay, so how the past is affecting you. Hmm, spirituality. 7, 14, 5. Hmm. Let me see. I don't want to pull another card from this. But I will pull from these beautiful cards that I use for the Father's Day. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for the day of when this comes because the past it encompasses a lot. So that's always that card always has so much attached to it, the good and the bad. I feel that you're celebrating your your spirituality, and you've probably always been very spiritual. The purple in the card always indicates to me a Piscean thing. It doesn't really matter, right? We've always had like that spiritual spark within us, okay? And celebrating it throughout our lives and using it to help us. But I feel with the King of Cups in reverses, that's not always been the case. Uh, it could be a parent or anything else. The double sevens too is, is kind of, I don't know, there's something about 14 and 5. It's been hard, okay? It's been hard. There's something... It's been hard for you, I think, for the past, but it's different now. Because you're using spirituality, you're celebrating it more. And because you had that base within yourself or that spark that you just couldn't deny no matter what, it has helped you in your progression. Um, but we're going to take a bigger look. I'm going to take these off here. Okay, so we have the card and we will be spending an entire day with it, so we're going to be able to look at it. All right, so next up is your magic. Can we put that one there too? Your magic is your spiritual, the fact that you're a spiritual. Okay, so this one wanted to come out, but it didn't. It says happy ending, but it didn't flip, so I'm not keeping it, this one. <laughs> happy ending and new beginning. So, um, yeah, chicken and the egg, right? 
I swear to God, it was a happy ending. Let me see. It is a yellow card. Let me see if I can find it now. Probably won't be able to. Yeah, it was right here. Happy ending. That's the one that had flipped in my hand. Um, yeah. And this one's New Beginning. So, if you look at it this way, the magic of it is that your new beginning is going to lead you to a happy ending, uh, Pisces, okay? Uh, beginning, endings, they're all the same. It's just a change of titles, of names, um, but they all mean the same thing. Even if it is a happy ending, it's always a beginning that follows it, and that's just your life at this point. This is what you're working on. Okay, a lot of red again here, sensing security, you feeling very well within yourself, probably the best um, root chakra situation that you've ever been in, okay, for yourself, so that's your magic, and then we're going to do the spiritual message for the end of the week, 81 leadership, and again all the red, and it's a 9, I love this, okay, I mean they're almost identical cards if you look at them just the mandela's got a little more pink in it like this manifestation okay showing you that you're manifesting um stuff leadership emperor is the leader authority okay so you're feeling the the spiritual message is going to be that you are definitely going on the right right path that you are figuring things out that you are doing you're doing well <laughs> you're doing well Hey, I didn't know if it was going to work with these cards. And look at that. Like magic, Pisces, okay? Spirit, they're magic. They're just magic when you work with them. They make you feel magical, too. It's such a wonderful thing, you know? They make me feel like a magician. Like I get magic at the end of my fingers. I absolutely love this. There's no greater high, okay? All right, so let's see what I can do for Oracle. I didn't actually take out, and I'm going to take the good old trusty wisdom of the Oracle, because I just like them. I just like them. And it's a lot of Oracle decks. <laughs> was I going to do that, or was I going to use the Tarot? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Let's try the Tarot. Let's try the, the Tarot. Since I used all Oracles here at the bottom, let's use the Tarot to... Um, do in between. I haven't used this deck in a long time. And it came to me. I was missing it. It was like, I missed that deck. So it happens when you put the little decks away. Alright. <laughs> yeah, juggling the two and the two. Alright, so you have the two of pentacles. So yeah, you're juggling beautifully the chaos, okay? You're saying, yep, okay. Um, I'm used to this energy now. I'm going to run with it. Look, look at me throwing that wand up in the air. You know, I'm going to catch it in a minute and I'm just going to go flying and everything's going to be good. You're juggling. You're juggling from the pentacles to the wand. You're going to beautifully do it. It's going to be, it's going to be probably the easiest it's been in a long time. Nine of pentacles. Look at that. It's just telling me that, yeah, I got this. I totally have this. Okay. So this is your progression of the week, Pisces. This is how it's going to feel for you. You're going to feel like you are absolutely, you're surrendering to the journey, but you are also, you're realizing that you have the light within you to fix things, to do things. And that is going to be some really major magician crap going on with you at this week. <laughs> it's, I'm sorry, that it, it's um, yeah, the la very uncouth the way I put that, but um, yeah, no, okay, right. The devil came in between these two. Rebirth, finding your voice, and to manifest things. Okay? Um, if you look at this card, they're being offered the... Um, they're being offered. Okay? You're going to notice that this week. You're going to get it. You're going to stop staring at the restriction, and you're going you're gonna to find the solution right here. Okay? These things right here. Do you see these strings? Okay, see that? See these strings? Yeah, you're going to unbind yourself from that this week. How are you going to do that? Finding your voice, finding the security within yourself. The red and the blue, those are the chakras you're going to be working on. Okay? 
and then you're going to step into your power, obviously, manifestation with that red and still pink now. Okay, it's going to be like, it's it's like your root chakra, but I love the pink because the pink is telling me that you're easing into it. It's not so harsh as the red. It's more like a, I'm pinkly going into it and you're going to find your power. You're going to find your power. You're going to take away the restrictions, the, um, the bonds, and uh, you're going to discard them. You're going to free yourself from these cycles. A frustration of guilt of whatever you whatever is is has been holding you down all right so in between the two here um, which is the block and how the past is affecting you have patience and spirituality knight of wands yeah so it's knight of wands in reverse I do feel that card I feel that you're going to be very challenged this week with this okay um, with the spirituality card, the other thing that's coming in is impatience. There is impatience coming in. Like, you have been spiritual all your life. You're waiting for the world to catch up. That's hard sometimes, Pisces, because when people go, oh, do you know that I feel like I should be listening to my spirituality? And you're going, oh, I've been doing that since like five. It, it, you can't help but you know, put it out there and going like, I'm happy for you, but honestly, you know... <laughs> You know, and I'm sure some of you do feel like it. You graciously accept it, but you, you're. It's not that you you mistreat people or you dismiss them. It's just that you've been there. You've been there for a while. You've been talking about it. Some of us have been talking and been dismissed or ignored, and now that the world is catching up, it's very. You know, <laughs> you're going like, uh, I've had this spiritually forever. You know, like. I have had to fight with it, with the five coming in, with the 77 there, it's it's like, I fought. I fought for this spirituality and this belief. And, you know, now that you guys are like, oh, we're subscribing to that, like, woo-woo, it's getting to play with your patience. It's becoming a challenging thing. So this is what you're going to have to be dealing with this week, with that, okay? It's your feeling of, like, for real? <laughs> All right, so next up is the new beginnings and leadership. All right. So your magic and your spiritual message. Absolutely going, seeing the very bigger picture, okay? The two of wands. Um, you're very innovative. Uh, you've contemplated innovation. You've glimpsed the bigger picture. You're committing to the new direction, the new beginning that you're going. You're holding the world in your hands. You're filled with the creative force, okay, to, and, and feeling the world at your command. And, and it's going to be really good for you. Like, I feel the power in you. I feel that you, you are feeling empowered this week. And that's truly... That's a blessed feeling. It's a good way of feeling underneath the deck, right? Look at this. Been a long, hard road, hasn't it, Pisces? Oh, my God, the Nine of Wands. You're feeling like, oh, wow, this has been long and frustrating and hard work. And, you know, uh, battled to be where I am. That's what I feel here. It's like you've battled to be where you are when nobody was there with you. But you're almost there, okay? You're almost there. Uh, just don't give up, that's for sure. Um, you're reaching the planned spot. You are reaching the planned spot. Yeah, I, I'm very impressed with this reading. Um, a little bit of frustration in the middle, but a lot of liberation. And... A lot of empowerment so you have liberation a little frustrating at the movement of course because um, when you're ready to change when you finally got it it's hard for to wait for the world to get it <laughs> as well or the situations around you to get it right it's like I got it let's move you know like let's go that male energy is kicking in you go let's go okay Let's let's do this, and and suddenly you're like, oh, I gotta wait, I gotta figure out, I gotta listen to all of this, and I gotta keep moving and taking the steps like I have been, even though I'm ready to go faster. So it will speed up, though. I feel Pisces. I feel you just have to keep doing the excellent work that you're doing, and as long as you keep doing that, things will move. Um, 
things will start moving for you. Okay, absolutely, they're going to start moving for you. So this is a fantastic week ahead for you, Pisces. You have a great week ahead. Um, I've been using this deck a lot, but I really like it. I just want to pick one more card to see um, what's coming up for you. Just kind of one to sum it all up. <laughs> Raw intention, that's what I feel, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 22, yeah. You're ready. You know, you're ready to rock. I feel like you, you're you raw, like you're just like, you know, you, it's not raw as in, um, as in vulnerable, it's like raw to the core, basic, beautiful energy that's, that's going within you. You're ready for what's coming, okay? Look at that red, look at all this red coming in, this red and orange, it's kind of really tapping in to that root chakra that drive okay it's beautiful Pisces you're 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 ready you're ready okay all right so I'm gonna let you go this has been your weekly read fantastic week a lot of power I'm hoping that when I do these readings I can you know wash walls after let's get that's the feeling it's giving me <laughs> take care of yourself I'm sending you lots of love light and blessings and uh, yeah see you tomorrow Pisces